Sports with Josh Moser. Hi there, everybody. Today, the Mesa State women's tennis team is getting ready to make their national championship run. They've advanced to the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history, and it's largely due to two big reasons, the Sarah sisters. Get ready, because you're about to do a double take. Meet Caitlin and Colleen Sarah. The twin sisters have taken the Division II tennis scene by storm, leading Mesa State to the Sweet 16 and Nationals this year. It feels amazing. I think it's the first time in women's Mesa State tennis history that we're going. It's pretty cool <laughs> to be a part of that. While certainly soft-spoken, and not the Bryan brothers, the Sarah sisters say their time off the court allows them to succeed on it. Together pretty well. We think a lot alike, so I think that really helps us on the court, like with movement or just communication. There's something certainly special about these sisters, because even as juniors, they still fake out their teammates from time to time. First I got them confused of which player plays, you know, which sister plays in which spot on doubles, but you know, it's really fun to watch them out there and they, they bring a lot to the team. Leading this team is coach Nico Crizo. He filled us in on the real story. Caitlin's kind of more of a joker every once in a while. Colleen likes to kind of settle down and be serious sometimes. So. But you know, they're both, they're both just happy people and uh, they're definitely, you can't replace them. They're one of a kind for sure. Now a pair beats an ace every time. While these two are twin terrors on the court, but after all, they're still sisters, and the relationship is anything but a rivalry. Who's the cleaner one of the two of you? Me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just was in your room and there's a huge pile of clothes. I'm like, do you put your clothes away? No. <laughs> no, you can ask her boyfriend. She's definitely the messy room. Housekeeping aside, the Sarah sisters will certainly make a lot of noise at nationals, even if it's not on the court. Josh Moser, News Channel 5 Sports. Alrighty, and now the Mesa State baseball team is also in championship form. They begin the RMAC tournament this week on the baseball diamond. Mavs clinched the number two seeding yesterday thanks to Chase Moore in RBI walk-off fashion, scoring Greg Anderson from second. Mavs would finish 26 and 14 in conference play. So here's how the bracket breaks down. Mesa will host the number five seed Regis in round one. Two teams split four games during the regular season, and the winner will get the victor between the three and four seeds, Metro and CSU Pueblo. And again, this tournament is double elimination starting on Wednesday of this upcoming week. And the Rockies are currently in the worst slide of the season. They have lost three straight, and tonight they close out a three-game series with the reigning world champs. Families out in this one enjoying Mother's Day on a beautiful afternoon. And Ryan Vogelson had a no-no for the Giants until this hit by Ian Stewart in the top of the six. Rockies finally showing a sign of life, but in the bottom of the inning. Cody Ross taking this one deep to left off Jorge De La Rosa. That made it a 3-0 lead for the Giants. And then in the ninth, Brian Wilson on to close. He gets Troy Tulowitzki to ground out to second. And the Rockies get swept by the Giants, losing in this one 3-0. And now to the NBA playoffs. This year's MVP Derrick Rose has been phenomenal in the postseason for Chicago. But in order to get his Bulls to the Eastern Conference Finals, he would have to be sensational. And let's check in with Rose here. Now he's the youngest player, like I said, to win the league's best player. Pick this one up in the fourth. Bulls down two, and it's Rose right through the double team plus the foul. He would finish with 34 points. We're all tied at 82. But the Hawks would go on a run late and blow this one open. Atlanta winning 100 to 88 series now tied at two. Let's head to Dallas. The Lakers looking to avoid the sweep and Kobe saying they would win this game, but Los Angeles did not count on the performance by Jason Terry. He tied an NBA playoff record with nine threes in the game. This one never closed. Mavs win by 36, 122 to 86 to advance Western Conference Finals. So that is your look at sports for this evening. We'll be right back.